Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from Privateer FX. Extremely quiet North American session. Uh, Europe, there were there were some moves, <clears throat> mainly in the Scandies. We'll take a look at those charts in a minute. Um, but overall, uh, you know, it was very very quiet. Uh, you know, looking at the relative performance on you know some of the markets the DAX and S&P 500 were strong the Shanghai was strong last uh, yesterday in Asia uh, dollar China was the weakest with euro Norway dollar Norway uh, kind of following uh, following the uh, you know some of the weaker pairs out there today Yesterday in Asia, the RBA minutes were a bit dovish, and, and, and Aussie sold off a little bit on it. <clears throat> it's now posted a uh, close to posting. I actually got it with this close here on the on the New York close. We're getting an outside reversal day higher. So the last outside day we had was here, and you can see what it did. It sold off from, and you know, after getting that close at 96.45, it sold off all the way down to today's low after the RBA minutes. Down to 75.30 area, so you know the market has been selling it fairly aggressively the past couple of months. Really picking on the commodity currencies. Uh, perhaps we have a, a short-term low here and a tradable move back up. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. Kiwi dollar similar. <clears throat> Remember we've been talking about how crowded the shorts are. Those short positions continue to grow. As of last week's data, and you can see now we we made that low on uh, Friday, and a couple of green bars here. Not quite an outside reversal higher day, but close. So again, we'll be monitoring that. Euro Swedish was interesting. It went up, broke this uh, ten all important ten psychological above these old 9.99 highs. Got up to 10.0160 and then got smoked and we are we're very close to putting an outside key outside reversal day lower from the uh, highs of 2017 it, it currently is just a reversal lower but still something to watch uh euro norway similar very strong in uh, in europe on the open didn't quite get this high at 980 ish but we have posted a very bearish day here with an outside reversal lower day, taking out a couple of days of lows and, you know, right back into this area here. So let's, uh, let's watch this one for uh, some, you know, with Sweden and, and Norway, both uh, Scandinavian pairs, maybe a little bit of strength in the uh, near term. Dollar Mex took out last week's low down here at this uh, 1890 area. Uh, not really a reversal day, but uh, positive NAFTA talks, sending uh, Mexican peso higher, dollar lower, and uh, you know looks like we can get back down into this 1868, 1870 level. Looking to sell rallies there. Dollar Turkey, their bonds continue to get smoked. Their stock market's getting smoked. You know political turmoil. You name it, this is everyone's favorite short, the Turkish Lira. <clears throat> we talked about this yesterday, about it going to 405, 410. You know, I, I think the chances of this having a complete melt up, it might, we may just walk in one day, it's up 5%. So again, we're watching this new all time highs, took out the year's highs, and uh, take a look at a weekly, just show you where we're at. The old highs were back in January. It's 290 or 394 area, so we're closing now above that. So new, new high daily closes, new high all-time closes. Also posted a a, a uh, yesterday we had highlighted that outside reversal higher day, and it continued higher again. So again, again that 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 one is something to watch. It can go completely parabolic. I've seen it go five percent and. 30 minutes so that would uh, that would kind of
catch some traders off guard that aren't used to seeing any uh, any volatility in these markets. Uh, so those are the reversals. Any uh, some short term uh, short term break setups that we're looking at here. This 85.31 level in Aussie yen. We've had multiple highs, multiple early highs. Uh, that that could yield some pips. Uh, dollar Swiss on the on the hourly. A couple old highs here, like this 45, for, you know, 99, 50 level. That was also a cycle high from a week or so ago. Uh, that, you know, there could be some stops. We start getting over this. We we tried it earlier in the in our session and failed and hasn't really gone anywhere. Euro dollars done nothing. It was a 45 point range today. Uh, Kiwi dollar. We've been watching this. Keeps getting rejected off this. 68.40, it made a 68.41 high in, in New York. Again, the market's very short this. Didn't do anything during our session after the one the one up move right at uh, 9 a.m. Uh, New York. But I could see them getting some stops, you know, maybe get back to the 68.80 level in Asia. Euro dollar, like I said, didn't do anything. Aussie dollar's not doing much. Maybe some stops over this high here at 60, at 75.90, you know, for a trade back up here, 79, or 76.10, 76.20. But again, there's not not a whole lot going on there. Uh, As far as data coming up here, there's really nothing in Asia and tomorrow in uh, in Europe and uh, not really not much in, uh, in the European time zone either we do have uh, in the US we have core durable goods and headline durables we have the jobless claims are jamming all this stuff in um, because of the holiday on Thursday and half day bonds will close uh, midday for the uh, on Friday as well so we do have FOMC minutes on uh, tomorrow as well, and crude oil inventories, and then uh, Kiwi uh, retail sales tomorrow in, uh, on the Asian Open. Well, that should do it. Good luck trading. Again, very quiet, not expecting any big moves, so keep your powder dry.